Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to create uh, mesh gradients uh, just uh, like the ones that you see right uh, here. Now, there is uh, this uh, plugin in Figma which enables us to create them in a very easy and fast way. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into it and uh, we're going to go here on the side and uh, we're going to select uh, plugins and uh, this one specifically so we're going to go under the find more plugins and then i'm going to write in a mesh as you can see we have uh, uh, these different plugins this one is uh, the one that we're referring to so i'm going to click on run and uh, it's just going to take a moment in order for figma to basically you know download it and run it and as you can see we have uh, now the ability to create the mesh gradients uh, via this uh, dialog box. So it's very easy for you to just uh, change and adapt uh, uh, the colors. So you can uh, essentially choose whatever color that you want uh, uh, directly from here. And then you can change uh, the different uh, gradients uh, as you wish. Now, the important thing uh, to keep in mind uh, if you're creating the more advanced ones uh, is that you're likely going to need to play around with multiple mesh points. Uh, so one thing that uh, you want to do is to try and uh, uh, add uh, more points uh, and uh, try around uh, different styles, different colors uh, until you find the ones which uh, or uh, most in tune with uh, what you're looking for. One thing that, that really helps uh, whenever you're like, creating one of these uh, gradients uh, is to have uh, almost a mood board of gradients that they really like uh, and uh, that they use as uh, inspiration uh, because uh, it's really easy to kind of like get lost uh, in the uh, midst of uh, just trying things out. So that's uh, something that um, I would highly recommend you to, to check out and then of course you know you, you can change uh, all of the uh, main colors that you see right here so this is going to be uh, the colors in uh, the actual background so you have more freedom when it comes to um, having uh, the colors in the mesh gradients as the core focus and then on the sides, uh, maybe you want to just create something with uh, a mood which is uh, towards, you know, the cold, uh, cold colors, you know, st st stuff like that. <laughs> so it really depends on what you're you're trying to achieve. But nonetheless, uh, this uh, plugin is uh, is really cool and uh, helped me with a bunch of projects. There's a lot of tuning that goes into into these so even for creating like these sort of uh, um, elements you can see that uh, all of the points uh, in uh, the mesh gradients uh, really do play uh, an important role so a lot of it is just trial and error there isn't like a, a right or, or a wrong way and uh, once uh, you are done you can um, either save it so you have a reference gradient uh, that uh, you can pretty much use, you know, whenever you want. Or, and uh, after that, you can generate it. Uh, I found that the 1x generation is still quite enough because as you're going to see, or actually as you see in just a moment, uh, this one gives you 500 pixels of width, which is okay for, you know, if you need just like a small gradient. But of course, you can add it all the way to 5x. So if I click on 5x, uh, this one is going to be 2560 pixels uh, by that. So this is really uh, useful. So this is pretty much it for this video. There, you can create a mesh gradient uh, with ease uh, in Figma these days with this amazing plugin. Hope this uh, video was helpful and uh, if you want to learn more about UI UX design or web design in general, feel free to check out the other videos in my channel and I'll see you in the next one.